Hey everybody, welcome to the Frankie Slauson Show, and as we continue our Icons of Pop Culture series, I have with me today probably one of the biggest icons if you're into monster trucks, and this guy uh, created the idea of the monster truck with the, the idea of Bigfoot, and uh, his name is Bob Chandler, and welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. Hey, no problem. Uh, I know it's been kind of a rush to try to uh, talk to you because you're such a busy guy. <laughs> Something always going on around here. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so, uh, in, in my interviews, I like to talk about you know more or less have it be like a bio interview kind of. Uh, Probably something that you're used to uh, if you've done interviews, which I know you've done interviews before. I, I uh, found a thing on Netflix. They, they had a thing called on uh, Modern Marvels, uh, the history of the monster trucks, and and I saw you on there, and I got, and I said, well, I got to find this guy, see if he's still around, see if he's still alive, and see <laughs> see if uh, there's a chance that if I can do, uh, talk to you for a little while. So uh, so how's it going, and uh, how did you get started? How the whole monster truck thing evolved for anybody that didn't know? Well, uh, well. I'm, I'm doing fine, thank you. And and the way it, when it all started, I had a four-wheel drive shop 37 years ago. That's been a long time. Yeah. Ago. And uh, I had a uh, Ford pickup truck that I kept putting accessories on. You put your accessories on that you sell, and you kind of you're, you're kind of showing them off. Then and people buy more more product from your four-wheel drive shop. And the truck was it was kind of a I never sat down and said I'm going to build a monster truck. It ended up just evolving. You know, I put bigger tires on a truck and you go out in four wheel and you break something you come back and and then you got to put your axles on the truck where well, you put bigger axles on the truck and and then the next thing you'd have you don't have a power so you got to put a bigger engine in the truck right yeah well, well that's a vicious cycle because then you go out and you can do all the stuff with it now well i'm gonna try some bigger tires again so then bigger tires bigger axle bigger engine and, and it's about a four-year project before it came to what they look like nowadays with this you know a tire that's a uh, thousand pounds and six foot tall almost and, yeah. But uh, it, it was never, never intended, never, you know, drawn out. It's just something that happened. And uh, the name Bigfoot came from my general manager, manager because I kept coming back to the shop on Mondays with the truck broken, and he started calling me Bigfoot because <laughs> I couldn't keep my foot out of the throttle. So that's where the name came about. But uh, anyway, it's the start of the monster truck. That's and everybody started copying the copying the monster truck, and, and you know went on from there. Yeah, and I, I suppose you never thought that it, it would ever get to the point where his, it's gotten to to this day. I suppose. No, really, had no idea. And and every year we'd, you know, we, somebody one year somebody says a promoter came to us and says I want you to do a performance my show and I'll pay you to come here and it just shocked me because everything I went to before that you know you you, you went on your own and you broke parts and you had to pay for them. Well, this guy was going to pay me to go to an event. <laughs> And uh, so I started going to the event, and then more people called, went to more events, and my wife and I, Marilyn, who was involved with me, uh, we uh, sat down and we said, you know, we got to go to as many as, as we can because this can't last. <laughs> well, that was 37 years ago, I guess, and it's still going. It's still going strong. Yeah, and that, and that just kind of the thing, I guess, you know, when it comes to, you know, just an idea, or, or even if it wasn't just an idea to make it big or whatever, just uh, an idea that you had just to try something different and... And now it's evolved to one of the biggest things. I went to uh, my first actual monster truck event in uh, Bemidji, Minnesota. They had a thing called the Monster X Tour. Are you pretty familiar with that? Yes. And they had that. I, I don't know where it's out of. I don't know if it's out of California or somewhere, but maybe you can tell me a little bit about that. If you know. Oh, that I can't do. I, 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 just, <laughs> I just heard it, but I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. But they, they run monster trucks, you know, like uh, some of your Bigfoots are, are there and like... Uh, Oh geez, I forget some of the other guys that are that were part of it. But anyway, I went to my first event, and uh, yeah, it's a small it's a small arena at the event center where I went, and uh, those trucks are pretty loud. Okay, uh, yeah, that's one of the promoters. We we work for promoters, but we, you know we really don't put shows on ourselves. But promoters call us, and that, like that event, we probably have a truck there. Sometimes they want two of our trucks because they're not all they're all Bigfoots, but they're Bigfoot. Uh, 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 Firestone truck, a Bigfoot, uh, Mack Troll, Bigfoot, uh, you know, whatever. There are different different names on them. So sometimes I'll take two of the trucks at one event. But uh, uh, it's been it's been kind of neat. It's been a lot of fun. And, and, and myself lately, I'm I'm in my 70s now, but and uh, slowing down a little bit. <laughs> my kids are kind of taking over. Jim Cramer, who's been with me from the beginning, he's he's always still involved, and in he's a younger guy. And uh, I'm I'm got to where I, right now I'm going out and I'm enjoying more. <laughs> 
office. I've been all over this country, you know, thousands of times back and forth and never saw anything. So now I'm going places with my wife and we're stopping and, and I guess they call it smelling the, smelling the roses. So yeah, oh, wow. it's been fun lately. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and that's great, you know, that it was able to, to give you a career. Because what other, what other career opportunities did you uh, think that you were going to have uh, at, um, if Bigfoot never worked out? <laughs> well, before I opened the four-wheel drive shop, I was a carpenter. I did contracting work and okay. you know, remodeling and things. And I uh, got into this and, and just expected to have a four-wheel drive shop because it was the right time and the right place. You know, it, just, it worked out well for us. And uh, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we, we're trying to finish up number number Bigfoot number 21 right now. And uh, it's, it's, it's just amazing that it's still as popular as it is. And, and I guess we keep keep entertaining people. That's the whole idea of it. Uh, but we're doing races now for uh, with Robbie Gordon. He's got a, a series called SST. It's on, on, on TV, on NBC. And uh, it's an off-road race, but we're the kind of the entertainment between the rounds. We go out and do, run the same off-road course with our big trucks. And uh, to me, I really like it because it's, it's so different. And one of the races we did in, in recently, it was in uh, San Diego, and there's two of our trucks on a track, and they kind of they start out in different parts of the track, and one jumps over the other one. Well, in, the, in that race, one of our trucks actually left tire marks on the roof of the other truck as it went across over the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, uh, what's the story with the, that, that really big Bigfoot uh, that you have? Out, I think it's outside your shop where with the big, big tires and everything. How did that all kind of evolve? Well, that was uh, uh, kind of put together. Well, let me go back to the beginning. I did, yeah. I did shows in Seattle, and in Seattle they have a, a big military junkyard there, and I saw all these tires that were 10 foot tall. They were off of a land train out of Alaska. And I asked the guy what he wanted for the tires, and he said $30,000. I said, okay, you can keep them. <laughs> and I went back the next year, he wanted $30,000. And well, the next year, Jim Cramer did a show up there. I said, go in there and offer the guy $1,000 a piece, and, and he took it. Oh, wow. So I bought the, these tires, which are 10-foot tall tires, and then we had to figure out what to do with them. So we made adapters so they'd fit on our trucks. And, uh, you know, from that point, we, we run we, The truck doesn't go out but once or twice a year because it's such a pain to change the tires. Oh, I'm sure. Because you got to take special special uh, fork truck that lifts it up high enough, and uh, you got to take these tires off. They're about 3,000 pounds a piece or 4,000 pounds a piece. And uh, then you've got to haul all this on a trailer somewhere before you set them up. But uh, the, and the tires came from that land train that they, they built during the Second World War. And the train had one, I guess, the caboose, the, the, the engine part of it in front was an electric motors, and uh, 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 big engine that ran electric uh, generators. And each of the trailer trailers, each of the tra trailers had these four, four of these tires on them, and they had electric motors in every wheel. And that was supposed to drive across the tundra in Alaska, you know. I guess of some kind of a military deal, but sure, they, they yeah. never really they never really used them. But that's basically where they came from. Oh wow! Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Like, uh, how often do you actually drive it, or don't you drive it anymore? I I don't drive it anymore. I'm kind of getting too old for it. <laughs> yeah, I've driven it. I've driven it a bunch. In fact, I was driving it in in town here for a charity deal, and we're going down the. Lindbergh Boulevard, the main main street out in front of our shop, and the front axle locked up, and it went. The rear tires came up in the air about four feet before it stopped and came back down. Oh, and there was people in the back; of it. they were ready to bail out. Oh, jeez! And I said, I really don't need to be driving this. I have, you know, young people that know what they're doing. Yeah, and and I, and I think too, like, uh, wasn't there a story where like you drove it like to like a parade one time or something like that, and like it was like too tall to, I don't know, if it was like to go on a bridge or too tall to go like. Buy a, a light or something like that, or am I get that right? Or? Well, when we when we drive it on the street, it, it we do pretty good, except stop signs. You got to go around the stoplights yeah. because they hang down too low. And we did a parade, a Bell Prophets parade in St. Louis, and we had to take the flag out of the back, and it just scraped the bottom of an overpass that went across between two uh, um, department stores down there. So, but it was very close. We thought we had to let the tire pressure down, but it just barely squeezed through. So besides uh, the name of of, of the, the the Bigfoot, like uh, like or the different names of the of the uh, other Bigfoots that are are out there, and besides the the big one that we just got to talk about, is there really any difference between the uh, the very first Bigfoot that came out compared to the the newest one? 
Well, we're, we're in stage three, we call them monster trucks. The first stage was just a, it's basically a stock pickup truck with big tires on it. And we had a problem with those because we kept breaking our axles and the frames weren't strong enough. And in stage two, we went to a heavy, a heavy truck frame and we put planetary axles on military, military axles with planetary tips on them. Well, see, that puts a reduction right at the wheel. So all of, then you don't have problem with the axles break, not near as many problem with axle braking because the reduction is all the way out at the wheel, and that worked for quite a while. And then they started racing us, you know, their monster trucks one against another one. Yeah. And these were so heavy, they're they're getting close to twenty thousand pounds that we had to figure out some way. And they, and they had no suspension; they had big leaf springs, so there was no suspension on them. And the guys were getting hurt. In fact, there's three guys that I know of way back in the 80s and 90s, early 80s, I guess, that broke their backs or fractured their vertebrae in their back because they were so rough. Uh -huh. So I got in a computer and I got an AutoCAD program and designed, I had a tube chassis with, with nitrogen gas shocks for suspension. And it, that the stage three works up to where right now we're running almost three foot of suspension travel. So now it makes it easier on the chassis, it makes it easier on a driver. and. Uh, the trucks are much lighter. They're down to about 10,000 pounds now, so they're about half of what they were in the Stage 2 monster trucks. So, and that seems to be the, the mainstay of our business right now. Everybody runs the same two chassis, you know, with the uh, bigger axles in there with planetaries on it and uh, with a lot of suspension, so it's much easier on the driver, and, and they put a better show on that way, too. So have your uh, Bigfoots been used like in, in any TV shows or movies at all that anybody would know? We've been in uh, seven different movies and probably 15 different TV shows of different types. Okay. Uh, uh, probably more than 15, but, uh, uh, but the movies have been kind of neat because uh, none of them were really, really big, you know, yeah. star movies, but they, they've, they've all been very good for us. And uh, uh, the last one was with uh, Charlie's Angels, I think it was their seventh version or something like that. And... Uh, it, it was it was kind of fun. Those are, <laughs> movies are always fun to do because they you know you hurry up and wait, and they seem to do the the dirty scenes where you get all dirty first, then you got to clean them up for the clean scenes. I don't yeah. know why, but that's the way it works out. <laughs> so, any notable actors at all that or actresses that uh, got to drive the Bigfoot at all, or were in the movies that you were that Bigfoot was in? Most cases, we drive ourselves. Jim Cramer and I have the, uh, the uh, proper paperwork to stunt. Oh, sure. The, on association, you have to be joined. And uh, at the first movie I did take this job and shove it, I let a, a stunt people drive it because I was, you know, didn't know what was going on then. And uh, they actually wrecked my truck. And, and what I did is that night with the director, and I said, you know, from now on, I either drive it or the truck doesn't go out there. Yeah. So uh, that point on, we we had the right paperwork and and. Jim and I, one of us, we either drive it. In a couple of movies, we've had both of us in there driving, you know, two different, oh. two different Bigfoot trucks. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I, and I think it's kind of nice uh, because, uh, you know, to get uh, that word of mouth, you know, because everybody knows about Bigfoot. It's, that's why that's why it works for the, with my show because, you know, it's an icon of pop culture. And, and, and the idea is unbelievable that uh, you could get a, a vehicle or a truck you know, and have big, big wheels, big tires. You know, <laughs> control it. You know, or yeah. drive with it. I, so, well, well, I can remember when I first started. I, I told myself there's no way this thing would ever come off the ground because when it when it hit the ground, it's going to be in pieces. Oh yeah. You know, and and right now we've jumped airplanes, and and the last thing Dan Runty did with Bigfoot, I think it was number eighteen or nineteen, whichever one it was, <laughs> he jumped uh, two hundred and fourteen feet with it and hit land on the ground and drove away and finished her. You know the exhibition for the crowd afterwards. Everything was fine, but uh, it's it still amazes me. The trucks are are you go out and see what they can do with a truck that weighs over five tons. It just still amazes me, and uh, apparently the crowd likes it because they keep coming back. And one of the things that I enjoy too about uh, just the Bigfoot alone is uh, simply the 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 original logo from the Bigfoot because it has that that classic 80s style font and everything and whose yeah. idea was it to kind of change the logo because it looks different now well my my kids and uh, my son-in-law kind of kind of take care of all that and and I've let them go because you know myself I, you you get to where you, you this works this works I'm gonna, I'm not going to change I change well, yeah it doesn't work that way. You need to continually upgrading and changing, and that's what they do. And it seems to go over really well with everybody. So I'm, uh, I just let them do what they want, and uh, they've they've been very very good at at running the business and and 
and you know making the business uh, grow. So, so which, which logo do you think is better though, the one that you got now or the original? I, I still like the old one. I still <laughs> yeah. like the original. Definitely. Yeah, it, I mean, it just looks cooler because then when you got the American flag right right by it and everything, and it says Bigfoot, and it's in blue and everything, and oh, it kind of looks like the old WWF logo from uh, the World Wrestling Federation that they used to have kind of back there in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, what other? I guess I got one last question for you before we end this interview. Uh, uh, what type of awards have you won? Because I'm sure you won a, a bunch of awards over the years for for Bigfoot. Well, Bigfoot's won a lot, but uh, I'm not sure what uh, uh, what it's actually ended up. I've gotten a few things. I was the first person in the Monster Hall of Fame, and I'm in the Missouri Motorsports Hall of Fame, and I just got a, a letter from the Officer Sports Hall of Fame, and I'm going to be inducted later this year into that. Uh, and to me, that's, that's kind of silly because it's not me, it's the truck. The truck is the thing that I've pushed over the years, the, the name Bigfoot. And I never pushed my name, but uh, I guess you can't really give a truck that kind of an award. But it's won a lot of titles, you know, a lot of race titles and, and different things. But it's uh, each each driver we have, from Jim Cramer to uh, all the way down to the people we have nowadays, There's we have we have six, seven, sometimes eight trucks out every weekend of the year. You know, they're booked around this uh-huh. country. I, I have a truck station in Europe that uh, uh, Nigel Morris actually licensed from me, and, and he runs it, you know, all over Europe. So, and we've been in 24 different countries with our with Bigfoot. So it's it's still a quite an experience, and uh, uh, we still always have growing pains. I guess everybody does, which is which is good. That's better than than falling on your face and going bankrupt. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, the fact too that you've been able to be successful after all these years, and you didn't have to go back to carpeting or anything like that, and and you made enough money to, to enjoy the rest of your life, pretty much. Yeah, I pretty. Ho- I hope so. I hope it stays that way. But <laughs> you know, I, I still am am conscious that that anything can happen. That things that can happen in the world or in the U.S. That would just I'd end up with a bunch of uh, uh, paperweights here. You know, <laughs> truck what, what do you think the econ- What do you think the economy has uh, would hurt the Bigfoot at all? No, when in the, in the, all the years we've been in business, every time our U.S. economy has gone down, yeah. sour, our business goes up. Oh. People can't take the big vacations; they can't spend the big dollars, but they can go to the local four-wheel drive, you know, monster truck shows. So it's been good for us, and, uh, but so far we're, we're still even as the economy's coming back we're still busy as it can be right now oh that's cool well I tell you what I, I definitely appreciate the fact of being able to talk to you this is a real real treat and a real honor because you you know it's just nice to talk to the guy who, who kind of started it all you know it's just funny what a little thing a uh, little idea will, will get you and not yeah. many people have that, that, that luck that you had so I, I wish you the best of success and uh, in the future and thanks for being an icon of pop culture Thank you very much. Hey, no problem. You take care. Okay. Bye. And that, <laughs> and that was Bob Chandler, the creator of Bigfoot, and the guy who kind of started the whole monster truck revolution, in case you've always been wondering. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of monster trucks, but I, I definitely appreciate, especially the fact that I went to my first ever monster truck event uh, here back a couple months ago, uh, or in April. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely fun. And so that's why I kind of got interested and in, in learned more about it. And uh, now I got a chance to talk to the, the guy who created it all, Bob Chandler from uh, Missouri. And I tell you what, it's uh, definitely a great honor. And he is definitely one of those guys who I would consider, and most people would consider, an icon of pop culture just because it just he, 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 he had the idea and it worked. So, <laughs> so anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and thanks for joining me for another great interview. I hope you guys have a great summer so far. we got more big guests coming soon. And uh, just keep it locked here at YouTube.com slash Frankie Slauson Show for more Frankie's Icons, a pop culture series, interview series throughout the whole summer. Bye-bye. <laughs>